Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm a little, I've got that stuff that's going around and my voice just sounds really crappy. I've been having for the last couple of days. <coughs> Sorry, I haven't been doing any videos uh, with work full time and everything else is just been super crazy. So let me put you up just a little bit. Um let's see. Um I have a request. I'm gonna show you um what I'm doing and it's these little like a little Easter bag or whatever um, you can do these any way you want to um, Christmas Halloween whatever um, you can make these for your American Girl dolls Baby dolls, just, you know, whatever you come up with, you can make them. So, um, this one here, I had just put, like, little crayons and a little notebook. Um, this is, like, an, a good gift to give someone, kids, teachers, just whatever, you know, you come up with. Um... But this is, I'm going to show you how to make this today. But first of all, um, I want to thank all the subscribers that has subscribed to my channel. Um, I really do appreciate it that, you know, makes me happy that I'm getting subscribers that are welcome that are liking my channel I have more stuff to come um, there's a main reason why I really haven't done videos lately my machine has just been cracking on me a while so I've got a new one coming um, it should be here Tuesday uh, but I didn't realize that um, it's just an embroidering machine but that's okay um, for right now, I can still sew with this, um, until I get another sewing machine. Um, I've got one in mind, so, uh, for right now, I'm just going to use this. Um, the one that's coming is the Broom Machine. It's kind of like this, but it's a different model. It's the exact same thing. It does the exact same thing. Got the USB. It's got the color monitor. Um, it's just the inverter machine only. And I didn't realize that till I purchased it, but that's okay. Um, um, that's all right. That'll... I can put that separate instead of having to unhook one, unhook the other, and so forth. That way, I've got an embroidery machine, and then if I want to do sewing, I don't have to unhook either one. So, it's it's good. It's not bad bad idea. But, <coughs> excuse me. So... I just wanted to say that's why I've not been posting any videos lately because of my machine. Um, it'll let me do some sewing and then it'll start just doing what it's been doing, saying upper thread. And that's why it's very important when you have these machines to not take your spool and pull it out because it will mess up your tension and I think that's what happened um, so cut your thread from the little if I can show you what I'm talking about okay 
from here between like you have your spool and then you've got this little piece here okay I usually cut it about right here I'll just cut my thread um, but you got to make sure that your presser foot's up so that way release from your needle pull from the bottom where your needle is pull from the bottom um, that way it does not mess with your tension so you could cut it right here in the middle but I usually cut it right here that just gives me a little bit for me just to pull out um, you don't want your tension to mess up and that's I think that's what happened is that it just it you know it, it messed up on me so but I don't know um I will use it as long as it'll let me so but anyways that's the reason behind why I have not really posted any videos um my iPad is fixed, and it was one little error. I hit something on it, and I don't know what I hit. Um, but it just, it would not let me search. I don't know exactly what happened. I mean, I, I don't know. It... But it's fixed though. So. That's all that it matters that it's fixed. Okay. So. I'm going to give the measurements out here. To make this. And you're going to need um, <clears throat> you're going to need two pieces for the front and you're going to need two pieces for the lining. And all four of these pieces measures five and a half by six and a half. Okay. And then, um, you're going to need some ribbon. And in the instruction, I, this was kind of a, this is, was a, I found this on Pinterest. <laughs> and it says, six inch long ribbon but that's too short so I did mine here let me take this stuff out mine here is a nine inch you know I wanted to have it some handles so I made it a nine inch and you want to cut two of those and I'll show you the ribbon I like. Now, you can use any kind of ribbon if you want, but I like this size better. I think it just creates a little bit more handles, but you can use whatever you want to use. It's, it's no big deal. This is your bag, so you create it how you want to. Um... There is another, let's see. I was going to tell you. Um, when you buy fat quarters, When you purchase these fat quarters, 
And I have a whole Ziploc bag of them and I can't find them. I like to save these cardboards. These come in very good handy. Very, very, very good handy. Um, you know when you have to box those corners? This is good. Trust me. I learn doing it myself, you know, because then you have, when you sew your bag together and then you got to pinch the corner and then you don't know if you're going to get it right or not. So I come up with a solution and you probably find this on YouTube, but This solution really works. Anyways, um, it says to cut out a two inch, two inch square, which would be your gussets on the bottom of your bag. So, what I did was, I drew me a line of a two inch square. And... You just cut it out and save this piece because you might use it. So I'm just going to write on here a two inch square. And you can save this. You could do a three by three, a four by four. You know, it just depends on your bag, but this calls for a two inch square for, to make your gusset. So, um, I like to keep these cardboards because, you know, they do stuff like this. So, I'm going to put that to the side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach our handles. So, I'm going to lower you down a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Now, I put some light interfacing to kind of give it some body um and it really don't matter but I just did to give it just a little body there okay now I find it helpful as I just fold my pieces in half like this and then you want your pins And then what I do is I just find on my mat, I just kind of line it up in the middle and then I'm going to going to pin it right here now you place your handles any way you want it don't matter how you how you want to place them And I've got mine right here. I know they look, let's see. Okay, I probably could go in just a little bit.
I'm going to pause this video real quick and I'm going to kind of mess with my handles and I will be right back. Okay, I got my handles on. So this is where I'm going to put them. Okay. Now. I think you can see. Okay. Now, what you want to do is bit this way. So you want to take your lining piece and you're going to lay it right on top. You've got your front and you're going to lay it right sides together. Your lining piece is going to lay right on top like just like that. Um, if you're a beginner, if you need to pin this, go ahead make sure you back stitch the beginning and the end Okay, I'm going to leave my piece in here, and then I'm going to do my other one. It's kind of like a chain piecing. So, I'm going to stick it in there. Set that in there. Back stitch. Guys, I am so tired. <laughs> My job has just been really kicking me in the tail. Okay, you want to take your pins out. sure you cut your little strings okay now I'm just going just to kind of finger press this I don't have my iron on so I'm just gonna finger press it Okay, so I've got it finger pressed here. Okay, so now we're going to put this one right sides up. And then we're going to put this one right side facing down. And this is where you want to use your pins. Um... I'm going to use a couple of wonder clips and you want to, the first thing is you want to match your seams. You want to match your seams together. And I'm just going to put a clip there. Just putting some pins. This is a small project, so you really don't need to put a whole lot. I'm just going to put like two.
percentages received from plus one three two five three eight six eight six five oh. New messages received from plus one three two five three eight six eight six five oh. Okay. Um, take your pen or whatever, and you want to leave just a small opening. Okay, I'm going to put this on pause because the video is getting too long. So, um, what you want to do is back, leave you an opening because you're going to need to turn this bag. So, leave a uh, back stitch here, go all, so all the way around and back stitch here. And I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how to do it next and show you what's next. Okay. <clears throat> Don't clip your corners, okay? You're just going to leave it like this. So, this is what we're going to do. So... Well, I forgot. That we are going to have to do this. I would just stitch. I forgot on this bag. <laughs> it's okay. I read the wrong instruction. You're just going to have to make a gusset and go for maybe like one, like one inch and a half square. <clears throat> I'm just sorry guys. I mean it's really no big deal. You just fold it because it's such a small bag and just line it up and just do like from one inch square. I should have cut it down to a one inch. But you could just make your gussets. It's not something to be perfect. But that's how it is when you're tired and just don't feel good. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and just cut your deals off. And you can eyeball it. If you're making a small bag like this, I would do a one, a one inch uh, square. But my bad. You know, I'm not perfect. So you're just going to turn it out like this. So Pam, if you're watching this, I made a big... Uh-oh. know how it goes. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to fold this and you want to close your bottom. Okay. 
and just mess with that seam and just sew your bottom together. And then stick your little lining bag down in there. You can sew it around the top. I didn't on my other one, but you can. You can kind of press that down, but there you go. And there you have it, a little Easter treat bag. So, I hope that you find that you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. And I will see y'all back on the next video. Bye-bye.